There's something so optimistic in a sunrise, so hopeful. Charles Rickman took this and sent it in, and it got us to thinking how even in the worst of times, things do pass, and the human spirit endures. Think of Joseph E. Dreyer. In the Great Depression, he went all around San Diego giving away to anybody on the street what looked like insurance policies, million dollars. There are still a few of these around from the 1930s when Mr. Dreyer, furniture salesman and ambassador of goodwill, founded the San Diego Heaven on Earth Club. It was a million dollars in sunshine, you see, guaranteed, signed by Mr. Dreyer and co-signed by the sun itself and Jupiter and Neptune, and who was going to argue with them? Or with the unabashed optimism of Joseph Dreyer that if you lived in San Diego, the sun would shine on your decision forever. He guaranteed it. 1938, it was, come on, everybody, it's been a tough few years, time to pitch in and clean up our city. From Tommy Giaquinto, archivist at the San Diego Police Department Museum, evidence that our city found a way not just to do it, but to celebrate the occasion with a cleanup parade down Broadway. In wartime, the street corner gathering in Coronado to collect scrap metal, everyone just wanting to help, even a little. Or back in the First World War, Dennis Twist reminds us it was a San Diego woman, Marion I. Coop, who won a syndicated newspaper contest for creating the slogan, Freedom for All Forever. And it became a song, and that song inspired a nation. Marion Coop's Freedom for All Forever was so popular, it was embraced as the motto of the USA and in 1918 lifted our spirits from coast to coast. That same year, as a flu pandemic swept through the country, it was serious and everybody knew it. In San Diego, some stores were closed, some remained open. Yes, there were unusual ideas back then, too. Want to beat this thing? Snuff a little turpo up your nostrils several times a day. Turpo, the turpentine ointment. But mostly, there was a sense, almost of responsibility, really, to keep up the municipal morale. Flu. F-L-U. Funny looking us. In our masks, you know. Well, some people looked better in them, the newspaper said. And there were little bits of encouragement right up on the front page. Smile anyway, it read. It may not show when you wear that gauze mask, but it will help just the same, and everybody will be doing it. In the early 1950s, polio was so frightening, so random, so devastating. There was such a sense of hopelessness. But then came Dr. Jonas Salk and a vaccine and eventually a facility in San Diego that is an institutional treasure just as surely as he was a human one. The flu again in 1959, the city council posed for a group shot of a shot, just to say, get the influenza vaccine, see it hardly hurts at all. In so many of these stories and pictures that you've sent us, there's a common and kind of hopeful theme. In the end, I think photographs from times that were tough remind us that what we hold on to most dearly are the bright moments. Like this from Tim Smith, 1944. It's just a telegram from the old telegraph office at the Campo Depot telling Tim's dad on a Navy ship in wartime that he had just become a father. Seven pounds, everybody fine, a new baby boy. Indeed, in the darkest days of the war, here came the sun. 